What's up guys, it is AF here, and yo, I'm back with another video. Obviously, it's been a while. <laughs> We're gonna be reacting and to watch Mojo. We're gonna do top 10 Hollywood conspiracy theories of all time. Obviously, I do not know what the fuck to expect, so... Let's get into it. Let's see what the fuck these people have to say. <laughs> from members of organized crime killing Marilyn to frame the Kennedys. Two that the Kennedys themselves killed her to avoid a public scandal. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Hollywood conspiracy yeah. theories of all time. That she thought it was going to Alrighty. be the twist that she needed to get that new respected image that she wanted so badly. For this list, we'll be looking at various conspiracy theories surrounding the Hollywood industry and its entertainers. Do you subscribe to any of these? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Jane Mansfield was a Satanist. The late Jane Mansfield was a major sex symbol in the 50s and 60s. But most people do think of you as a, as a sex symbol. Do you mind that? No, I think it's fun. I take it. I think it's very campy. She was a Playboy playmate. She allegedly dated Robert and John Kennedy, and she was the first actress Damn. of the sound era to don her birthday suit for a film. The movie was 1963's Promises, Promises. She was also allegedly a Satanist. Nasty remark. <laughs> And you meant it to be nasty. Mansfield visited the Church of Satan in 1966, and she was named High Priestess of San Francisco's Church of Satan by its founder, Anton LaVey. This was a media sensation throughout the late 60s, and it led many to believe that Mansfield was a practicing Satanist. LaVey's daughter, Carla, later confirmed, okay. quote unquote, that Mansfield was a Satanist and that she had dated her father. Number 9. Paul Thomas Anderson directed A Prairie Home Companion 2006 saw the release of a musical comedy called A Prairie Home Companion. Where you can see the stars and the living slow We'll eat pot love and pull guitars down an old plain road The film was directed by Robert Altman, who is perhaps best known for directing the MASH movie in 1970. This is this was Altman's final film, as he passed away just five months after its domestic release. Unfortunately, some people didn't believe that Altman would finish the movie. He was 80 years old and sick, likely suffering from the leukemia that would eventually take his life. To secure insurance, Paul Thomas Anderson was hired as a backup director just in case Altman couldn't complete the filming. The theory posits that it was Anderson who actually directed the film, not the ailing Altman. Altman denied this That's shortly crazy. before his death. Number 8. Nicolas Cage is a Vampire Nicolas Cage was born in January 1964. Or was he? What? Back in 2011, an antique dealer named Jack Mord posted an old picture on eBay. The picture shows a man from the 19th century who shares a striking resemblance oh, to Cage. But it goes further That's than a mere crazy. resemblance. Mord claims that Cage is a vampire who reinvents himself every half century or so. In this lifespan, the immortal vampire decided to become a popular actor. Cage's lack of aging is also presented as a clue to his supposed immortality. This theory became so popular that David Letterman confronted Cage about it on his talk show. Let's see that again, because there are some similarities. But it's, it's slowed not... down. Yeah. <laughs> Cage humorously denied the accusation, but he did admit that he shared a resemblance to the older gentleman. Ah, oh, stupid fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy shit, man. Older gentleman. Looks exactly like Number his ass. seven. Tommy Wiseau didn't direct The Room. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. The name Tommy Wiseau is synonymous with bad movies. The Poland-born filmmaker, maybe, famously created The Room, having produced, written, and directed the film himself. He also infamously starred as its lead character, Johnny. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! However, some people believe that the movie was actually directed by the script supervisor, Sandy Schkler. Schkler told Entertainment Weekly that it was actually he who directed the movie, as Wiseau was too busy acting. 
The story was corroborated by an anonymous actor who worked on the film. You guys are too much. Co-star Greg Sestero also corroborates the legend in The Disaster Artist, claiming that Schkler often took over filmmaking duties from Wiseau. Wiseau has denied the allegations. You be straight, you. you're not good, you, you're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Number six, Bruce Lee and the Triads. What do they want me to do? Bruce oh, well. Lee's death is famously shrouded in mystery and has generated a number of conspiracy theories. Lee seemed a paragon of health, which made his premature death at just 32 highly suspicious. The official cause of death is a cerebral edema that was possibly exacerbated by an allergic reaction to meprobamate. The drug is found in equagesic, which was given to Lee to quell a headache on the night of his death. It's so extremely rare that this kind of thing happens. What it's, um, what it's like is an allergy to, say, penicillin. Others aren't so sure. One leading theory posits that Lee was assassinated by the Chinese triads. They yeah. said uh, he upset it because of his success in the film industry and taking the martial arts around the world that he upset it, the triads. Their motives are numerous, including business investments and Lee refusing to pay protection money. No one can agree on why the triads supposedly had Lee killed, but the unfounded theory has persisted nonetheless. Number five, Keanu Reeves is immortal. Similar to the Nicolas Cage conspiracy theory, this one claims that Keanu Reeves is some type of immortal being who has transcended the centuries without aging. Whoa. Some people believe that historical figures bear a striking physical resemblance to Reeves, including the French actor Paul Mounet. Mounet studied to become a doctor before pursuing acting, and maybe he unearthed some kind of everlasting formula during his studies. Of course, the biggest clue towards Reeves' immortality is his distinct lack of aging. I'm sorry. Many people think that Reeves has aged exceptionally, even suspiciously well. The John Wick series certainly hasn't quelled the theory. There's just no way a man in his 50s can do what he does. You uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. Oh, well. I'll leave you be then. Good night, John. Good night, Jimmy. <laughs> Number four, George Lucas directed Return of the Jedi. The original Star Wars trilogy is widely credited oh, to creator shit. George Lucas. What some people might not know is that he only directed the original movie. The Empire Strikes Back was directed by Irvin Kirshner and Return of the Jedi by Richard Marquand. And I liked the apparent naivete and simplicity with which George had made Star Wars. I liked that style. However, there's a long-standing theory that Lucas essentially ghost-directed the latter. I know. Somehow. I've always known. Lucas was reportedly on set quite often overseeing the inexperienced Mark Wand, and there are rumors that Lucas personally shot some of the second unit work. Some people believe that Lucas controlled Mark Wand, essentially directing the director. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Others claim that the movie was made in post-production, with Lucas and his then-wife Marsha molding the finished product in the editing room. Here goes nothing. As it is, Lucas was only given screenplay and story credits. Number yeah. three, Marilyn Monroe was killed. If a popular entertainer dies young under mysterious circumstances, you better believe that there are going to be conspiracy theories. The lurid circumstances of Marilyn's death made national headlines across the world. Screen icon Marilyn Monroe died at just 36 on the night of August 4th, 1962. The official cause of death was acute barbiturate poisoning, and the general consensus is that Monroe took her own life. Speculating that on the last night of her life, Marilyn had wanted Mealy to sleep through her despair, as she had done so many times before. Possibly, under the heavy influence of drugs, she simply lost track of the number of sleeping pills she had swallowed. However, no one really knows for sure. Cue the conspiracy theories. Some believe that Monroe was killed and that her death was staged to look like an intentional decision or accidental overdose. I was there at the time when she died. Been there. You mean Bureau people? Yeah. Are you aware how long afterwards they came on the scene? Immediate. 
Norman Mailer famously claimed in his book, Marilyn, a biography, that Monroe was killed by government agents owing to her alleged affair with Robert F. Kennedy. Mailer, and the theory in general, were widely lambasted. But I did find evidence the circumstances of her death had been deliberately covered up. Num number two, Stanley Kubrick filmed the moon landing. You get two conspiracy theories in one with this entry. As many as 20% of Americans Fucking believe that the moon shit. landings were faked, with the supposed footage being filmed on a Hollywood soundstage. And you hear about uh, the fact that the landing was actually done in a television studio. And there was the big black background, like, you know, fake stars and stuff. It's the flag being planted on the moon facing one way and the shadow of the man being the other way. I mean, I've heard that maybe the terrain that was seen on the video wasn't accurate. And that footage was directed by none other than acclaimed filmmaker Stanley Kubrick. No one really knows where this theory came from or why it even started in the first place. That's when you know you have a sound conspiracy on your hands. The leading theory about the theory is that NASA contacted Kubrick owing to his work on 2001 A Space Odyssey and asked him to help trick the world. But what about the flags and footprints on the moon, you ask? Don't worry about it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, oh the God. Illuminati. Believe it or not, the Illuminati has oh, been the shit. subject of conspiracy theories for centuries. The Illuminati began as a German secret society in 1776, but was quickly suppressed by the Bavarian monarchy. The Illuminati would become more notorious in their afterlife. Pretty much. Nowadays, a lot of this Illuminati stuff, it's gotten popular, man. Uh, on TikTok, bro, every time I scroll up, man, or fucking, I'm seeing like fucking Illuminati, this, 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 this. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> it's like, expose, expose, expose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. than they had ever been in their brief existence. However, many people believed that the secret society continued in some capacity, and they were blamed for starting the French Revolution. Today, the term Illuminati is used to reference many different organizations that have claimed to have some connection to the original Bavarian Illuminati or other secret societies. Some conspiracy theorists now believe that all major celebrities, not to mention most people belonging to the upper class, are part of the not-so-secret Illuminati. Apparently there's this... <laughs> Apparently there's this group, I don't know, called the Illuminati, who are behind the scenes, governing everything, running all the top businesses, running all the top organizations, and evidently this shadowy organization are communicating through Susan Boyle's ice bucket challenge. <laughs> they supposedly wish to start a new world order and are using their fronts, like film, television, and music, to propagate their convictions. Is Hollywood really just a front for Illuminati propaganda? You tell us. For years now, talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government <laughs> to throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh and stuff like that, make you happy and docile so you don't know what's really going on. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips. Yeah, and that's really it. But Jim Carrey's, I love Jim Carrey, man. Jim Carrey's dope. But yeah, man, that's a good video. Yeah. <laughs> don't really have nothing much to say, really. That's what's going on in the world pretty much we're living in so yeah we gotta fight the power yo <laughs> but yeah guys that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed smash that like button subscribe sorry this is like a, the most boringest fucking video ever the next video will be way better because we'll be playing five nights at freddy's but anyway smash that like button subscribe don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys do not miss a video and i'll see you guys next time peace out